Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Borderwise, and welcome back to From the Depths. And welcome back to something that I have not touched on in a long time. Uh, I guess it was ambitions and plans that have been pretty much abandoned, except now I've gotten the itch again, so here we are again designing custom factions. And so, those of you who've been around for a while might remember I did something like this ages ago, like a long time ago, is me thinking like, well, let's design some factions potentially for a custom campaign. No promises. And thank goodness I didn't make any promises, because if I had made them, I wouldn't have kept them, because uh, that custom campaign is still non-existent, and in fact will never exist, because this is a new one. This is different. I'm starting over, basically. I've deleted all my own stuff, uh, the old stuff associated with it, because all of it is outdated anyway. So we're starting anew, but some things uh, have not changed. In particular, uh, the first faction, the starter faction, is roughly the same idea as what was ages ago uh, back in the day, which is uh, a thing, a faction that's made of wood, but they also spam heavy armor. For no other reason, because I think that's hilarious. If you're wondering uh, if wood backed by heavy armor is a good armor scheme, it isn't. It, like, it's terrible. So, and I just realized I might have broken my own rules with this faction. Oops. Uh, so yeah, the whole idea with this faction is that um, they don't really use metal uh, for the most part, except apparently uh, in here. I should quickly replace that with the plique, because the rule with this faction, uh, and I'll go into lore uh, in a second, don't expect too much in the way of lore, because I'm lazy. Um, basically, the idea is they don't really use uh, metal. They've, uh, they've got a shortage of iron, but they do have a lot of exotic elements and forests, uh, which is why they use heavy armor, alloy, and wood for the most part. Crap armor scheme, very cost-ineffective. Uh, but there you go, that's, uh, that's what they do. Uh, so, yeah, like... I'm not sure, like, what I'm going to talk about in this video. It's just going over what I've done. This is the first one I made. It's kind of like a, uh, I guess, easy, maybe regular uh, level craft. It's, uh, if you shrink all the blocks, it's got these tiny APS main guns, uh, which are not very strong. Uh, this is the start of action, so I have to kind of um, uh, balance it in a way that it's, like, fun to fight, but it isn't too difficult for a new player. I, I, at this rate, I think it's going to be just fine for new players, because... Uh, uh, this whole uh, heavy armor plus wood plus alloy armor scheme makes them for some pretty material inefficient craft. And also things that sink uh, once they uh, get enough damage, once all the floaty stuff is blown off. Uh, so this fella is a canoe design uh, that I've used many times. It's like, tends to work quite well. It's got torpedoes in the back. It's got these little uh, AP frag things. Because also, wait a minute, are these AP frag? I should really... No, they're not AP frag. Sorry, they are a uh, squash frag, which this faction is going to be using a lot uh, because they don't really use kinetics. Because all right, so I'll read you out the fluff. So the fluff for this faction is is that they're called the Hawa Confederation. Uh, and if you're wondering how I came up with that name, a very simple, cheap, and lazy way to come up with names for factions or for anything really is to make an acronym of. Uh, Basically, you describe them, you make an acronym of the description, and then you put in enough vowels uh, to make it sound like a word. So, in this case, it's Hawa Confederation. And Hawa is uh, not even really something that uh, needs extra vowels put in, because it's heavy armor wood alloy. And that's it. So, according to my notes here, they are a loosely connected group of provinces, bound together by common economic and defense interests. Lands are rich in forests, bauxite, and... Exotic elements, but lack iron. As such, their craft have no metal and they don't use kinetic projectiles. Being made out of heavy armor core surrounded by wood slash alloy shells, using hash, heat, HE, and frag weapons. They generally have mediocre ships, but terrifying airships. Now, I have not made any airships uh, yet. I have made, like, two uh, craft uh, for this faction. And I'm still kind of feeling my way through what this faction is going to be like. So, this is the uh, color scheme, by the way. It's just kind of pale painted wood. Uh, so they're not like the Deep Water Guard, they're not com mostly unpainted. I do kind of like this, this is one of the... It's not like super aesthetically pleasing, I will acknowledge, because aesthetics is not my strong point, but yeah, that's a ship. You can shoot at it and it's fun. Uh, this thing shooting at a Marauder is actually kind of, uh, well, let's see, hold on, this thing is 60,000 materials, let's board in something that's 60,000 materials, roughly. 
Well, this thing can take on an atlas just fine, so... That's the goal for this, uh... uh for this faction. They should be able to take on deep water guard uh, craft, which are roughly their cost or more expensive. Of course, the atlas is made out of basically chewing gum, uh, packed with high explosives, so... Yeah, I think it took out... What did that take out? That took out the ammo compartment, and then it took out the... And then it took out the... What do you call it? The front turret, so... Yeah, these uh, Hesh guns are not big, but they are big enough that uh, if you're careless, they will blow you up. So this thing does just fine. It cannot... Uh, it does really, really poorly against uh, cram cannons, which seems to be a thing with my designs, which is ironic. And then it kind of juggles the Atlas for a little while. Uh, what else, what else, what else, what else? So... Yeah, this thing is unnamed. I don't know what to call it, and I don't know what name is scheme. I do remember back in the old days of the planning a custom campaign, a custom craft. I also don't know why it turns its ass uh, towards facing the enemy, because it's got a 2.0 broadside with a minimum range set to zero. There's literally no reason why it should do that, uh, which is very annoying. So I don't know why it does that, and that's irritating to me. Hey, look, the Atlas is dead. Okay, so yeah, it's got azipods, because I cannot resist azipods. I'm not... Uh, gonna stress too much about like uh, how to design this faction. I'm gonna just go for it and figure things out as I go and probably scrap the oldest designs I come up with. Uh, incidentally, if you want to have a go designing factions like this, be my guest. Uh, like, I, I have no idea whether I'm accepting submissions for this because this is very early days yet and the rules might change. They could change at any second now, so. Yeah, this is, I don't know what this thing is, like, heavy armor, wood, I don't know, power confederation, we could, I don't know, I could name these things with, like, the same way I've been named the confederation. This is, like, power cruiser one, it could be uh, light, light cruiser azipods, light cruiser azipods is, you know, laka, it could be a laka type cruiser, L-A-C-A. I don't know, but let's talk about uh, something which I am very conflicted on. So this is a uh, much bigger thing, and actually, I, this is something trialing a, I guess, new uh, style of canoe, which just, it slopes up, and that's it. Um, I'm not sure how this looks. This is very square, this is very boxy, this is not my style usually at all, and I'm not sure if this is aesthetically pleasing, I am inclined to say no. I'm not sure if it's material efficient. I'm again inclined to say no. The main use of this is that uh, it has a lot of alloy and wood uh, in the front. Yes, there's that uh, kind of uh, checkerboard pattern. Because uh, this, uh, the outer armor of this thing needs to be very floaty because there's a lot of heavy armor on the inside. And uh, like I said before, this is not a good armor scheme because it basically means... Um, well, certainly not pairing heavy armor in this much wood anyway. If you're using heavy armor like this... Um, Basically, what that means is that uh, you don't particularly care about the thing being expensive, at which point you might as well just stack metal and call it a day. And yeah, so this thing gets blown up spectacularly, which is a point in its favor, actually. Like, uh, the turrets are not well protected at all, because uh, the turret cap is heavy armor uh, covered by wood, which would be fine. Um, but then the actual turret itself just has a kind of skin of alloy on it. Uh, which I don't think is a very good idea at all. Ooh, paint got down here. That's interesting. Um, so I should probably uh, replace the uh, alloy. Oh, incidentally, I do this uh, with turrets these days. I put slopes on them. Uh, that's not necessarily a good idea, because slopes and beam slopes uh, don't have as much health. Uh, but I just like doing that because, I don't know, it makes me feel good. It looks good. Same reason I build canoes all the time. Uh, so yeah, this thing needs work. It needs a... Um, it needs a fair amount of work. There's a lot of room for fun and activities in uh, both the bow and the stern. I do like the azipods. That's a good touch. And um, yeah, this thing cannot beat a crossbones, which I suppose is fine. The superstructure is very basic. It has a piddly as lambs, which is just barely good enough to swap missiles. It probably needs a lot more in the way of just missile defense and all that stuff. Uh, because the crossbones really bodies this thing, and I would quite like it to be able to fight the crossbones on equal terms. As of right now, it cannot. I am pr kind of proud of the Tetris. It's like it is. Uh, it is actually three connection Tetris in there with a little bit of four connection Tetris. No space wasted. No ejectors because you know starter faction. 
Uh, this thing should be fun to blow up. And I need to... I think I might stick, actually, a sub-vehicle on the back here, so... Also, I don't know if this is a series, uh, so to speak, or not, and I've probably forgotten to mention a whole bunch of things that were supposed to mention. Oh, yeah, by the way, uh, this thing is using a generalizer shell, so to speak, so it comes in squash and heat flavors, and it's just time fuse frag, uh, 180 degrees, flak, HE, and squash. Uh, so this is kind of... Uh, people have yelled at me in the past, like, with much love, but they have yelled uh, that you should never put use time fuses uh, with these. Uh, with squash heads or HE or heat heads and you are right and I should probably in fact I'll do that right now I will modify uh, the fuses on this so that they explode a little bit late so I'll just go here and just go that that should do it that should do it excuse you Thank you, very pleased. I do like, um, as for the rubber mantlet type things and the uh, rubber barrel sheaths, I'm not completely sold on that. I kind of like doing that uh, because, you know, put rubber on things for safety. Uh, I'm very fond of rubber these days. Uh, yeah, the lambs definitely. I actually have room in here, uh, by the way. I have room in here for more fun and activities in general. And yeah, like if you go here, I could make that lambs bigger. There's a kind of cavity in here that's not really doing anything except, uh, wait a minute, there was supposed to be a helium pump in here. What the hell? I forgot the helium pump. That was very silly. Uh, helium pump. Whoop! And now she's very floaty. She is the floatiest float who ever floated. I do like the railings, and I also do like uh, this hull type in the sense that, uh, unlike the usual... Uh, like sloping and getting narrower thing I usually do you can have a kind of consistent armor belt along the whole thing Almost it's a little bit thinner up there and This is also kind of not entirely consistent because you see this layer has two pieces of alloy and then this layer has uh, two pieces of wood instead so Not super great, but then again, I'm not worrying too much about this thing being good The main thing is that it should be fun to shoot at and speaking of shooting it, I'm going to spawn in the crossbones so uh, you fine people can see what happens when you try and take on the crossbones. The new crossbones is actually kind of scary. It's uh, it's very well made, I think. It's uh, basically fixed all the problems on the old crossbones and also... Uh, oh yeah, did I mention? Large missiles. So it's got large missiles, explosive and frag. The new crossbones uh, can shoot these down with its seawiz, which is quite impressive. And uh, this is very much a fun fight to watch because you just this block confetti flying around on both sides. And for some reason, yeah, that's uh, interesting. Yep. Also, yeah, those shields uh, on the turrets, uh, very useful. I am. Okay, so right there is. Uh... <laughs> right there is uh, one of the problems with this thing is that. Uh, well, I guess it's because it's being shot with cram cannons, and this whole thing is not uh, optimized for dealing with cram cannons at all. Those are very scary crams, actually, and are exactly the kind of thing you'd use to shoot at something like this. And I'm just glad she doesn't sink immediately. And she... Let's see if we can... Yep, there goes that turret. So the turret needs to be armored a lot better than it is, because just spamming HE at it blows it up immediately. So, so much for that heavy armor belt. Like, covering the main body of your craft and heavy armor is pretty useless if the weapons get disabled that easily. Let's see how the cross... The crossbones just has so many crams. Yeah, so uh, you can see that uh, this craft is not doing very well, and that's kind of a symptom of um, this kind of design. Is that, well, just if you spam heavy armor so much, what you end up with is something that, for its cost, does... Not so great against uh, things that are roughly the same cost as it, uh, which uh, do more on the whole weapon side of things. Also, new crams, new cram aesthetics, it's lovely. Uh, let's see, so the armor cost is around 50% for this thing. Uh, compare that to the crossbones, uh, this is around, armor cost is 25%. So right there, like, you know, there's way more weapons on the crossbones, basically. Um, so yeah. This faction is looking, is actually, weirdly enough, being kind of a success, uh, because it's kind of bad. 
and kind of, you know, does not punch above its weight, so to speak. The crossbones is like, you know, the fight isn't going entirely the way of the crossbones. Uh, never mind, it just took out that turret. And it's about to flatten this whole thing. We. And that's why you need to spread out your detection, which I will probably do. So let me know what you think of this kind of, I guess, flat barge type thing. It's a like canoe only in profile. Uh, also needs way more weapons. I'm going to stick more mortars and torpedoes and stuff on it. If I can be bothered. If I don't just scrap this. I almost did. Just thinking like, yeah, man, this uh, this, ain't, this ain't good. And I'm just going to destroy the crossbones right now because that's embarrassing. And let's just repair all. And I do kind of like the turret design. That, the turret design makes me happy. Are uh, you going to float again? Yes, you are. So very much beginner faction type stuff. Uh, this is definitely not in-game material. It won't take on in-game anything. Uh, let's see it shoot at a moray, just because. Also, this thing also needs a name. Like, I don't know what to call this thing. I don't know what to use this deck space for, either. I could just stick, you know, a whole bunch of diff guns on there or something. Or, I could stick uh, large missiles angled to fire forward. That's an idea. I could stick huge missiles in the front. Uh, and I could stick some kind of a helipad back here. Uh, cram mortars in between. Yeah, that could be a good idea. Torpedoes in the bottom and torpedoes in the bottom. I certainly have the ammo for that. So yeah, let's let's take on something. Let's take on something that isn't the crossbones. Let's take on the Jacob's Palace. We should surely win that. Uh, we won't win that. We definitely will not win that. Do not expect me to win that. I won't win it. I won't win. Although. Something just happened with the Jacob's Palace. We just flattened it. Also, I think this thing is... Yep, it is uh, currently rigged to shoot things which are close to it. Which means it takes planes down really easily. That is the advantage of generalizers like that. Whoa, that's a big thing. That's what she said. How's that thing doing? Actually, what happened over here? Something exploded. Something spectacular. Oh, that's what happened. Something went kablooey. Oh, I love it. Oh, dude, that's child labor. What the hell? And there's feasting in here. Oh, I'm so glad. Anyway, uh, what's happening over here? a hell of a lot. Really need to tweak the target prioritization on this because that turret is confused. Also, I need to stick missile interceptors on this thing. Also, that superstructure goes in me. I don't know what it is, but like maybe it's just it's because it's a cluster of blocks, but man, that superstructure is like uh oh, that's not good. That's bad. Why are you not shooting anymore? I hate the I hate how the game sometimes does this. Is that explosion leaking? No. Wait. No way. Yes way. Hey, seriously, what happened? I'm confused. What the hell? <laughs> oh wait. No? What the why are these things not firing anymore? That makes no sense. Now they're for Oh, it's because they don't have detection anymore. The radar's been blown off. Gosh darn it. Well then, as you can see, we've got teething troubles, and this thing is very much a work in progress. Also, I seem to forget all my own vo oh, Why are you still firing? But you aren't. Is this a bug? This must be a bug, because, like, this literally... There's literally no reason for this to be the case. Zero of those weapons? Yes, you can. What are you talking about? You can absolutely do it. That makes no sense. Anyway. Okay. I got a lot of work to do, apparently. I got so much work to do. I recorded this because I couldn't think of anything else I'd want to record. So instead, I've shown you this giant miserable failure. I guess it's not a failure, it's a learning experience. I really need to friggin... 
this superstructure, like, you know, it's not very super, is it? Anyway, uh, thank you all so much for watching, for indulging what is rambly as hell. I don't know where I'm going with this. I don't know if I'm going to persist with it. Uh, I guess I'll just stuff this thing full of mortars and uh, put extra superstructure... Oh, shut up. I'm getting a spam call on my phone. This day's gone to the pits. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps and there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters and I will see you next time in From the Depths. Custom campaign slash custom faction design assuming I ever do another one of these. Let me know if you want to see more of it. Like, you know, that would definitely influence whether you see more of it. Farewell.